Hello and welcome to Monkey Fever. My name is Josh. I am on my way to Sturgis, South Dakota, and in this episode, I'll be heading to Mount Rushmore. Many of us know that when you go to Sturgis, it's not just about the main attractions. The ride to the main attractions are part of the entire experience, and I don't plan on missing out on any of these beautiful sceneries on the way to the main attractions. This is Keystone, South Dakota. It looks like an old western town, and it makes you want to ride in on a horse. This was a mining town. If I had more time, I would love to look around all these little shops, but this is a great way to add more weight to your motorcycle. I'm trying to hit up all the sites on my list before I go to Sturgis, so I have to hit the road. You can tell that South Dakota definitely relies on tourist attractions. That looks really interesting.
love how the shadows are casted in these forests. there. There it is. gas. There you go. Well, this is probably the only place where I can take a picture with my motorcycle and Mount Rushmore together, because it doesn't look like they'll allow motorcycles into the main site. With my long beard, I might have been able to pass for a senior citizen. first time to Mount Rushmore. Last year I decided to get a motorcycle to save on gas. I started watching YouTube videos to learn more about motorcycles and I noticed that everyone had a beard. So I said to myself, hey self, I want a beard too. This is my first time having a beard. Yes, guys, I do realize that I look like a Hamas terrorist. My beard is about a year old. I should start celebrating my beard's birthday.
the wind was blowing my beard. That's why it looks like it's getting out of hand. One of my coworkers said that my beard needs to relax. My boss introduced me to beard oil. A few coworkers chuckled when they found out that I've never heard of beard oil. I don't have any friends or relatives that have beards, so I did not know that beard oil existed. My mom told me to shave my beard, and I said no, because Jesus had a beard. I found the Minnesota state flag. I'm actually ashamed of Minnesota because of all the woke, self-destructive laws that we have. I would rather much be in a red state. I hope that one day people will come to their senses so that all this political madness would end. I am born in this country, and I want to be a proud American. But with this administration, I am ashamed. I am loyal to my country. That is why I do not support the traitors to our Constitution, who wish to abolish our Constitution, every amendment, and every right that we have. I feel like singing the national anthem. Where you go? 50 Franklin uh, D. Roosevelt. No, get out. What? what? I don't drive his kind. My kind? Americans, I don't drive Americans. But I'm Chinese. Yeah, but you're with him. And they're the most violent people on us. Always starting wars, always killing people. Americans make me sick. Look, man, we are not in the mood for this. Me and my partner just got violated by a small Frenchman. Wearing a very large ring. You're a pathetic bunch of criminals who always resort to violence. Always push around the little guy. And that stuff ain't true. America is not violent. Come on, America is a joke. You lost in Vietnam, you lost in Iraq. You can't even beat the Europeans in basketball anymore. The dream team is dead. <laughs> I didn't hear you, man. Talk about the NBA again, I dare you. I double dare you. Even you skinny women disgust me. Holly Berry. Oh, hell no. I think you done gone too far. You want violence, smelly Frenchman? Huh? Do you want violence? Well, you got it. Kaga, put the gun down. Say you love America. I love America. Please don't kill me. Sing the national anthem. I don't love all the love. Not that one, man. Sing the American one. Oh, no. It... Oh, say can you see. Oh, say can you see. Ah!
I like that boulder. That is a nice boulder. If I had more time, I wanted to see if I could climb Mount Rushmore and see what's behind it. But I'm trying to see everything on my list in one day, so I have to head out.
landscape home with me so that I can kick back and marvel at its beauty every day. I had to stop and take a few pictures. The world, she's around. She's flat. Look, King, she's around like the apple. She's flat like the pancake. I thought that the Minnesota landscape was all flat with 10,000 lakes. I don't see rock formations like this every day. So I really appreciate the beautiful nature here in South Dakota. I've been living in Minnesota for about 15 years, and I never knew that Minnesota had mountains until I did this video. I don't know of any mountains in the Twin Cities area. Minnesota has a few mountains up north near Canada, but I would have to travel three hours or more to see them. Maybe I'll have to go visit them sometime. this Cardo Packtalk Bluetooth headset just for this trip so that I can talk on the phone, listen to music or podcasts while I'm riding. It didn't make sense to me to use the JBL speakers that came with it because the road and the wind noise can make you deaf and people blast these speakers louder than the road and wind noise which will only make them go deaf even faster. Some people use earplugs with the JBL speakers but it muffles the sound. If you follow my channel you know that I always want the best of both worlds. So I did a lot of research and I went with musician in-ear monitors which will block out the wind and the road noise and at the same time it provides audio from your phone. Wow, there is beauty all around me. Horses. I didn't expect to see this. A friend of mine told me that his family spent some time here at this resort. My next destination is the Needles Eye Tunnel. The road there just gets better and better.
the Needles Highway is not for new riders. One guy commented on YouTube that we should at least have 5,000 miles of experience before riding it. At the moment, I have about 6,000 miles under my belt, so I should be good. It didn't seem all that difficult to me. As long as you don't try to break the world record speed, you should be good. People did comment that most of these bikers that die on Needles Highway are new bikers or bikers who haven't ridden their bikes in a long time. And as long as you anticipate the turn, the lean angle, and don't go in too hot, you should be good. There are signs that tell you the safe speed, so it is really not that big of a deal. Honda Monkey is a tiny and cute motorcycle. It is meant to bring out the kid in you. It was made for short local commutes. If you want to pick up chicks, get something like one of these big bad motorcycles here. So what kind of car do you drive? I just have a little Honda Monkey. The Honda Monkey does draw a lot of attention, not from chicks, but from old guys that had Honda Monkeys when they were kids. So don't plan on picking up chicks with a Honda Monkey, because you'll just look like a monkey riding a tiny motorcycle. I didn't expect to see this beautiful sight. I wanted to come and see this oasis, but I took it off my list because I thought it was out of my way. I was pleasantly surprised to see it. If I brought my family, we would have spent a few hours swimming here. But I'm riding solo, and I have a list of things to see, so I have to head out. So this is where we depart. Thank you for joining me on my journey. If you are a Honda Monkey enthusiast, and if you enjoyed my content, please click like, subscribe, and the notification bell to spread the monkey fever. I would really appreciate that, and thanks for watching Monkey Fever. I'll have footage of my time at Sturgis, but not yet. Not yet. Not yet.